An RCMP cyber expert with connections right up to the commissioner's office has been charged with five counts under the Security of Information Act and the Criminal Code. Cameron Ortiz was a director general of intelligence for the force. He appeared in court today via a video link. The case has been bound over until later in September. Justin Trudeau was asked about the charges on the campaign trail today. The are taking this extremely seriously. Uh, but you might understand, uh, I have no comment to make What's on this issue time? right now. All right, among the charges, Ortez faces allegations he intercepted and shared operational secrets from a position at the epicenter of RCMP police intelligence gathering. Let's size up the damage potential if he is found guilty of the charges. Richard Fadden is a former national security advisor and former director of Canada's spy agency. He joins me live in the studio. Uh, of course, Dick, justice hasn't been served here yet, but I'm curious what the potential impact crater of this, if these charges are upheld. Well, I think potentially quite serious because this isn't regular intelligence. Regular intelligence is something that we want to keep a secret as a beginning and as an end. It's a decision that's taken by cabinet. It's something the military are up to. This is intelligence about how we acquire intelligence. So um, it's who is involved on one side, who our informants are. It's either the mechanical, the technical, or the cyber ways that we acquire intelligence. This is significant because it has no limit in time. Mm -hmm. It could take, one of our adversaries could take that information and reverse engineer. It certainly means we will close down or they will close down that particular source of information. It's doubly, I think, uh, worrisome if the information uh, that's potentially been leaked is allied information. I mean, one of the way, one of the reasons the Five Eyes system works fairly well is we share a lot. I have mm -hmm. no idea if this is the case or not, mm -hmm. but it's something that the government will have to check into fairly quickly and make sure that our allies are relatively comfortable with what's going on. Yeah, what do you think is going on right now in the RCMP and in CSIS? Is there a scramble to do damage control? I think there would be. I mean, they'll be talking with each other, trying to figure out exactly what potentially mm -hmm. has been leaked, uh, depending upon how. They'll first ask themselves, what sort of access did this chap have? Now, if he was a director general involved in intelligence or counterintelligence, both work only if you share. You cannot operate an effective intelligence operation if you only talk to your colleagues in one department. Mm -hmm. So potentially this will impact a number of departments, and as I said a moment ago, potentially other countries. So they'll be trying to figure out as quickly as they can exactly where the information originated, where it went, with whom it was shared. Now, presumably, they've done some of this because the investigation's been going on for a few years now. Mm -hmm. But before it hits, you know, the prosecution service and the court, they'll want to dot every I and cross every T and make sure that they cover everything they possibly can. I know uh, it's early to be pointing fingers at who he might have been leaking information to, if indeed he was. Uh, he spoke Mandarin. He seemed to know a lot about China, and does ex certain expertise about China. That seems to point in that direction. I agree with you. We don't know for sure, but I mean, his area of expertise was East Asia. Well, East Asia certainly includes China. Um, and that would be an area that would be of, what we do in this area would be of considerable interest to the Chinese. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case, mm -hmm. but we don't know that for sure yet. And we still don't really, the charges read in a curious way. It doesn't say he's actually, talks about intercepting and collecting. It doesn't necessarily talk about sharing. Now, does that preclude the sharing that happened or is it just more, that's the way charges are written out? Well, usually, and I say usually, if the offense hasn't been completed, we say, or the charges say, attempted to. Now, I've noticed in none of the charges is the expression attempted to used. Mm -hmm. They're formulated as if the offense has been completed. Now, again, this may be simply the Crown wanting to be careful about what it says and how it says it, but the word attempt is not there. So I'm led to believe probably something has passed. Yeah, we had a, an individual, Jeffrey Delisle, I think you were mm -hmm. running CSIS or you were the national security mm -hmm. team at that point in time. He was convicted of selling secrets about Canada to, uh, to Russia, just 10 grand. Compared in scale to what this potentially could be, was. And that was a big deal. Even with the five eyes were alerted to that. How big is this one? And it's I think potentially this is much more serious for the reasons I set out a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Delil's intelligence had a beginning, had an end, insofar as I can recall. This stuff, it could endanger some of our informants. It could endanger some of the people who are managing the acquisition of that information. It could endanger the technical expertise that we bring to bear. All of this is far worse than a particular piece of intelligence being passed to an, to an adversary. And if this... As our sources say, he was right-hand man to the RCMP commissioner. Is there any area he couldn't access? 
Well, if he really was uh, the commissioner's right-hand man, unless it was something that was really compartmentalized, which does happen, mm -hmm. he would have had access to pretty well everything, not only in the context of the RCMP, but in, in, in the context of CSIS, CSEX, the Privy Council Office, Defense, and GAC. I don't know all of this, mm -hmm. but if you're playing in the intelligence field at the DG and above level, you just don't deal with your own department. You deal with a variety of department from information that's collected in a variety of ways from a variety of departments and agencies. So potentially, again, because we don't know, this could involve a number of departments, uh, a number of our allies, and is, I mean, I, I don't want to use the word catastrophic because we don't know. Uh, and I think the other thing to remember, though, this is not the first time this has happened in the Five Eyes. This has happened to our American friends, mm -hmm. our British and our Australian friends. So it's not the end of the universe as we know it, but we need to figure out what happened and take whatever measures we can, A, to prosecute this guy, but also to close any doors that might still be open. Wow. I have a feeling we'll be talking again about this, Dick. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks very much for your perspective. Always My pleasure.